Assalamualaikum and good day everyone So today I continue our lecture on principle conservation of energy Okay, state that in an isolated system Okay, the total energy is always constant So this is the formula with summation E initial is equal to summation E final E means the energy Okay, remember that energy can be transferred from one form to another but cannot be destroyed or created Okay, cannot be destroyed or created Okay, satu lagi we have the principle of conservation of mechanical energy Mechanical energy, okay, we have the kinetic and also the potential energy which is constant So, untuk U kat sini, we have either two, you have U, G, where U, uh, Depends on the G Depends on height Okay And U spring U depends on the Compression or uh, Stretching of the string Okay Where U initial plus K initial Equal to U final plus dengan K final Conservative systems Means only Conservative forces Such as Gravitational and electric forces are acting on the system. So this one, okay. Okay, case number one. A man release a stone from high H onto the floor. Alright, so kita tengok dekat point one. Okay, point one. So our V equal to zero because V is at rest, and our H is maximum. So then we have. Uh, we have the U G equal to M G H. Okay, K is equal to zero at point number one. Okay, at point number one. Okay, and, and then we go to point number two. For point number two, as it falls, the stone lose potential energy. And gains kinetic energy. Lose potential energy means the height is lower. Okay, but uh, it masih lagi okay have potential energy and also the kinetic energy at the second point. So we have half u and half k. And then finally, when the stone reach the floor, the kinetic energy is maximum. But the potential energy, where the energy the uh, depends on the position is zero because h is zero. So here we only have the kinetic energy. Okay, for case number two, for the bullet, compression of the spring by the bullet. Okay, point number one. Okay, when the compression of the spring by the bullet is maximum. Okay, so here we have. The elastic potential energy is half k squared, but the kinetic energy is zero because v is zero. It is at rest. Okay, it is at rest. Okay, but when the gun spring is unstretched, okay, gun string is unstretched, so meaning x is equal to zero, u s also equal to zero. The speed of the bullet is half mv squared. So, it only have the kinetic energy. Where v is the speed of the bullet. And case number 3 is projectile. Okay, so untuk point number 1. Okay, the ug or u depends on the position or depends on the height is 0. But we have the V. How we have U here? Velocity. Okay, we have the velocity. Okay, as it rise. So, kat sini we have kinetic energy. But we have, don't have the potential energy of gravity. Okay, as it rises... Okay, the pebbles lose kinetic energy and gains potential energy. Okay, so kat sini dia semakin hilang. Okay, lose. Okay, 
semakin hilang dia punya kinetic energy okay, sebabnya dia semakin perlahan ok moving slow sebab nak menuju pada KLB0 kat sini sebab bila H maximum V equal to 0 ok so ni dia laju ni laju semakin lama semakin perlahan sampai lah kita titik ni Uh, dia tak bergerak sekejap ok, lepas tu dia jatuh ke bawah ok, and gains potential energy UG ok, bila sampai H maximum ok, V is 0 and then the kinetic energy also equal to 0 but the UG is maximum ok, here UG is maximum ok, and then as it falls as it falls, the pebble lose potential energy and gains kinetic energy ok, so dia dah hilang semakin lama, you lose tapi, k semakin meningkat ok, semakin laju ok so kat sini ok, ni constant lah means kat sini and then when the pebble ok uh, when the paper reach ground ok the kinetic energy is maximum U pula akan jadi kosong because H equal to 0 uh, so this is the summary of the energy ok so now let's go to wood energy theorem ok ingat saya kata tadi wood energy theorem is the work done by the net force on a body equals to the change in the body's kinetic energy of okay, you say work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy ok work done equal to the change in kinetic energy ok when W is increased the kinetic energy increase and the particle is going faster as the end of the displacement ok, yang ni kita boleh tengok daripada kita punya calculation nak senang, kita tengok daripada calculation yang ni, so ini adalah kita punya teori, when work is negative K final is less than K initial K final less than K initial, so kita akan dapat negative work done lah Ok, when W is 0 So, K initial Sama dengan K final So, W kan tadi sama dengan K Sama dengan Half M V Squared minus 1 half M U squared ha. So, bila work dah 0 So, K initial sama dengan K final Ok, we go to question number 1 The gravitational potential energy On an object due to its so, the gravitational potential energy So, UG equal to MGH Due to its mass Acceleration High So, all of this A ball is thrown upward with the Some kinetic energy What happened to its kinetic energy At the highest point What happened to the uh, Its kinetic energy At the highest point so, so the energy is converted into the potential energy. Okay, so at highest point, kena at highest point kat sini. Okay, so at highest point, kinetic energy is zero. Okay, kinetic energy is zero. Ug adalah maximum. So, its potential, its kinetic energy, okay, is converted to its potential energy so the answer is ingat kalau highest point kita tahu V0 so bila V0 kinetic energy 0 tapi H adalah maximum so that's why UG adalah MGH so dia transfer kepada potential energy ok